like when people say, oh, you only care about the time skip because it's got action in it now. Like, you know, none of the politics and all that. Well, even this fucking chapter, regardless, like, what? The only bit of action that we had was, like, Morgiana, like, kicking, like, a finalist. And it's like, nah. This is what makes Maki interesting when you start finding out about some of this information and start finding out what's really going on on this shit. Because I gotta say, what Morgiana, Hakuryu, and also as well Aladdin have been planning for all these years, they got some shit going on right now. I'd like to point out as well, especially say, like, yes, I have read 308. Like, I have read the raw for 308. So I know there's smipe shit coming up. But like, this is the more aggravating thing about Maki reviews is that I've got 307 that is fully translated in 308. And it's like, I got two, I got two chapters. Oh, like, you know, I feel like a you know, little kid in a candy store. And it's like, oh, and when I come out of this, it's like, wow, we really have to wait like a full, like, you know, like another week for that to get translated. And then we get the raw. It's like, ah, just give me all the money. It's like, I need it all. ASAP, just give me more of that. So we get started to see other chapter is that how we saw Margiana was training throughout the entire time. It's that she was fighting the finalist whilst they were in their beast forms and she was still in a humanoid form just doing that. Meanwhile, whilst that was going around for our years, Hakari was fighting with the King of Kingdoms like people, he was fighting with the king, he was fighting with all of them. That was his kind of training, and Aladdin was training with the mother dragon. It's like you was learning magic from that thing. I was like like, what the fuck? It's like, so that is a kind of scary thing to be at right now. It's like, okay, like, out of all of them, it seems very weird that Haku has kind of got the least amount of, like, I say the least amount of training, but, you know, the King of the Kingdom, like, you know, they, they're warriors, they're no fucking joke, but it's like, even still, it's like, you compare that, it's like, I was fighting the red, like, the red lions every day to I was training with the fucking creator of everything, the mother dragon. It's like, you know, there's some shit. It's like, oh, I was fighting with some guys. Like, it's like, I don't know, I think maybe Haku you've got the lowest, like, of all, like, maybe the training out there everyone else but you're still fucking strong we find out a little bit how like really like the king of kingdom kind of floats because like when the actual uh, leader of them is like was explained to uh, like takadu he was like you know you managed to make our kingdom moon it's all thanks to you and it's like it wasn't through my powers like the island of kina is made on a geological formation in which magoi from the age of al tamara like taran is stored you could say there's a rune from that era and basically i just combined it with some of my own like you know magic and it's it's the same sort of condition how it is with the dark continent i just combined the power of my own and that's how it was and we finally get a little bit of an at like answer from him like say, uh, like explaining why exactly did he he's like he's not going like with Sinbad why he doesn't agree with that he's like you know like you know what like the, like the main reason that they were on his like back and all that was because the previous king was a very strong supporter of Sinbad but I have no intention of becoming the lapdog of the high king I and just kind of he also so just sounds a little bit salty because he's like oh I wanted to be the king of the high seas he's like I'm super butter and all that I'm like, wow, that's actually a kind of weird thing. Like, to say, I was like, okay. It's not more jealousy. He's just like, I wish I had that. It's like, no, it's just like, oh, I'm a little bit butt on that shit. So I've got to be like that. And even throughout all the time, it's like, you know, like, you had that attack two years ago. Even with the fortress attacking the like, Kyoko and, like, you still haven't got enough. And it's like, right now, it's like, all three of us right now, we won't lose to anyone. We are fucking strong. And I'm like, when they went to go and see the Mother Dragon, it's like, you know, like, let's just say hello to her. See, you know, before we go off. And it's just like, especially when she was talking about how much of the nostalgia that she had, especially when it comes back because obviously like at this point he looks so much like Solomon and it's just like you know like that was like just after you came back from delivering Alibaba and Judah to our well you know our past crossed by chance and I wonder what like you know he's doing right now and the strange thing is that they haven't like and I thought like Hakuryu and Judah would have been there together like they would have like met up already like I that, that's kind of interesting I thought like Hakuryu would have left at that time but no like throughout this entire time Judah has been out on his own he's been doing his own thing I've got to say and I wanted to just as well as like I'm a little bit disappointed how like Hakuryu out of all of them is the one that doesn't look like very different at all like he kind of pretty much looks the same I'm like ah oh, that's a little bit uh, a little bit like shitty about that I thought that would have been cool like to see him like after all that after you saw like you know obviously like you know like Koha and like them growed up and that would have been a really cool thing to see and I was like you know even Cohen changed a little bit slightly and morgiana has got a new hairstyle and Aladdin I mean you look at fucking Aladdin is like look at him he went from the little fucking shrimp that we used to know him 
him. It's like, and look where he is now. And it's just, even still though, it's like, look where they've all gone now. Morshana trained with the Thanalis. Hakuriha trained with fellow metal vessels, like, you know, like, created like, create from, like, Solomon. And then Aladdin trained in magic with the Mother Dragon. It's like, you've gained so much strength at this point. It's like, Jesus Christ, you guys are fucking OP now. It's like, and even the biggest question about this was like, what are you going to do? Are you going to kill Sinbad just like Solomon killed David? And I really respect like his answer. And he's like, no, Sinbad isn't a bad guy. The world that he built isn't bad at all. However, no one should rule the world for all eternity by himself. And that is what he's trying to do. And he made him want to be something even more than that. And like, I'll have to like figure it out once I fight him again in order to stop him. But you know, we found like someone who showed us that different path that there's more to than just this one road. It's like, you know, we've got Alibaba like uh, back. And like, that's the thing where it's like, like there's a huge difference with like between like Alibaba and Sinbad. Although there's a kind of the, the similarity is like, Sinbad is a king who respects and pulls you towards him and all that. However, like he like Alibaba moves toward like is someone who like respects you and moves together with you. So it's like you you obviously you see like Sinbad he's just like this big fucking wake of like energy and sexual powers to some people. He's like, I, I want a bit of that. I want a bit of that. And then Alibaba's like, yeah, I'm more it's alright, I'm a dumbass like you, you know what I mean? like yeah, like you get up. Like it's like so, you know, the two are complete polar opposites because obviously Sinbad, like, he just had that aura from the start and it's like that's what draw like people into him and Alibaba you know worked that way to him and it's like yeah he's earned that respect and all that and he moves together for you and it's like don't you think that everyone would be like able to go forward if, if such kings equally stand in the world and it's just like and like the response to like the Kina Kingdom's like king was just like I don't give a fuck we just want to live free and it's just like yeah that's exactly and that's why I'm going to meet Alibaba and I'm like yep that's a good way to end the chapter and, like, and people will say I only care about fucking that Oh, you don't like the Alibaba stuff because it doesn't have action in it. No, this was interesting. <laughs> like, this was interesting. Start seeing the Mother Dragon again. Finding out exactly what they've been doing all this time. I absolutely love that Aladdin was training with the Mother Dragon. That, I, I want to see the results of that. That, that has got me beyond interested right there. It's like, okay, I want to see Solomon's space magic out of this shit. I want to see him like doing different dimension kind of stuff after that point. But it's like, I would say I like, I'm really looking forward to what's happening in next week's chapter, but no, I'm going to say this. I'm fucking, I um, really want that chapter translated because I've read that thing raw like three times. So I know what's going down and I'm like, what? <laughs> You see, like, okay, that was something I wasn't expecting next week, all right? So, whoo, uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this, but this one was a great chapter. I absolutely loved it. Like, I love finding, like, this, in a chapter, finding out everything we needed to know about Hakuri, about Morjan, about Aladdin, all that stuff. I loved it. Their plan, all of it was all neatly bundled in a nice little fucking bow tie. And that right there was one of my favorite chapters if you're going to like talk and strategize about the plan and also as well give us a big in detail of what the characters have been doing. And I'm really excited, especially the both Morgiana and Aladdin. And I'm, like, I'm not too sure on my like, Hakuri, although I'm not like down his strength, but it's like, it honestly seems like Morgiana and Aladdin went through more shit than like what Hakuri did in the time skip, like training wise. I mean, I'm like, he did that with his own energy. Like, I mean, you're comparing him to like a finalist and Ozzy A. Margi. So, yeah, that's something to say, but even though I love the chapter, 8.5 out of 10. Honestly, loved it. Whew, I can't wait for next week. <laughs> I can't say what it is, because I know some of you guys ain't going to be reading the raw until like, it comes out, but it's like, oh, I cannot wait. But that's all for me. Thank you much for watching, as always, and I'll see you and you Maggie fans.